Hi, I'm Nicole Casares, a inbound professor at HubSpot Academy. By the end of today's session, you'll be able to set up a local environment for developing on HubSpot, creating and deploying a project, start local development, and add a card to your CRM. Now let's get to it. So let's set up a local environment. So because UI extensions are developed locally, we'll first need to set up your local environment. First, we'll need to install Node.js. I highly recommend you use a package manager like Homebrew. This will really help prevent any issues and allow you to have different versions in different parts of your machine. So I'm going to type out brew install node and I want version 18 for this. Now that we have node installed, let's navigate to the directory where you'll be storing your project, app and extension files. So from here, I'm going to list what's in my current directory by typing out ls. From here, I want to move into my directory by putting cd space desktop and then ls and i want to move into my dev projects so i'm going to put cd space dev dash projects i'm going to make sure that i have the correct version of node by doing node dash v because you can have different versions of node in different parts of your computer so I have version 18. So as long as you have version 18 or higher, you should be fine. And then we're going to run and install our latest version of the CLI. So I'm going to run npm install dash g at hubspot forward slash CLI at symbol latest. Okay. Next, I'm going to run hs init. Okay. Note that you only have to use HS init the first time. Once it is installed and initiated into your computer, you can run HS off, and that will allow you to see all the projects you have and if you have multiple accounts. So now it is asking me if I want to copy my personal access key. I'm going to put in Y for yes. From here, a new browser is going to show up. I'm going to go into the account where I want to work and click continue with this account. From here in the middle of the panel, I'm going to click show and then click copy. Navigate back to my Visual Studio code and paste in my personal access key. From here, I get to enter the name that I will be referencing this account. So I want to put labs dash account, press enter. Now let's create and deploy a project. So before we create and deploy a project, I want you to be aware of two different types of apps. So we have a private app, and this is built for one HubSpot portal. Private apps are restricted from using some APIs. A public app is an app that is designed to be used across multiple HubSpot portals. Public apps have access to an increased set of APIs. So for example, you can use configure webhooks and use timeline events. Now let's create a new project. So in terminal, I'm going to click project create. Now it wants to give me, me to give it a project name. I'm gonna say labs dash project and press enter from here it wants me to enter the folder location i'm going to press enter because i'm okay where it is from here i need to select a template for this guide i'm going to select crm project start and i'm going to select public apps or private apps so we have crm getting started with private apps public apps, and then create an empty project, which means no template. If this is your first time, or if you're still learning, I highly recommend using the first two templates. So since I'm already at this first one, I'm gonna press 
enter. And then we want to navigate into this new directory that we created. So I'm going to CD for change directory and lab name it. Perfect. From here, I'm going to run npm install. Perfect. Now let's start local development. So before we move on to that, I want you familiar with a few different types of accounts. So you have a developer account. This is an HubSpot account without any of the typical HubSpot functionality. This account is used to register apps and create test accounts. We also have a test account. This is an account created inside a developer account to test applications. It functions just like a regular customer account. We also have sandbox accounts. This allows you to test out changes without impacting your standard account. We have a CMS sandbox account and we have a development sandbox account. We also have a standard HubSpot account that's used as a production environment. So to start, we want to run HS project dev inside of terminal. From here, we have two options. We can work with an existing sandbox or we could create a new sandbox. I'm going to test on a new development sandbox. So pressing enter, and I'm going to name this labs-sandbox. Once this is done, if you created an existing, if you're working with an existing sandbox account, you would have selected it and pressed enter. However, we selected and chose test on new sandbox account. I'm going to run HS project dev. Now I'm going to upload those changes by first stopping my local development server with the command Q and then redoing HS project dev. Once we have uploaded our project, we can now open our explorer and search for our project. So I'm going to go to desktop, dev projects, lab project and open. Now within your project, you should see an SRC with app functions, extensions, and webhooks. Wonderful. Now let's add a card to your CRM view. We're going to open up our HubSpot account. From here, we are going to go to the left sidebar and click CRM. Under CRM, we're going to click contacts. Once we have our contacts open, select one of your contacts. I'm going to choose Lorelai Gilmore. So at the top of our contact record in the top right, click customize record. Now in the center, you'll see default view. Click default view. Now at the top, you'll see a plus symbol. Click on the plus icon. We get to choose our tab name. I'm going to call this labs and click done. Now we can add a cards, click apps, and now you'll see an example card. This is the card you created during this process. We're going to go top right, click the X symbol, then click save and exit. And now go back to the left sidebar, go to CRM, then click contacts. I'm going to go back to Lorelai Gilmore, click on labs, and you see your extension. And there you have it. From here, you can build out pretty much anything you want. Now, thank you for watching. If you want to follow me, follow me on LinkedIn. You can find me under Nicole Casares, or you can follow this QR code. Some resources. If you want to learn more about integrating with HubSpot and developing on HubSpot, you could do integrating with HubSpot One Foundations, getting your app certified on the marketplace, developing scalable HubSpot solutions, and then for documentation, Go to UI Extensions Quick, Quick Start Guide, Developer Project CLI Commands, and Private versus Public Apps. Thank you for watching.